everyone, I want to show you my activity on simple interest buying a car. For this activity, students will be given a car dealership newsletter. In the newsletter, there are six cars and each car has a description. Out of those six cars, students will pick three of the cars that they prefer. They will fill out the car information and then they are also given two banks that has information about a loan for the percent and for the time. Students will take that information and calculate the interest and balance for the first bank and the interest and balance for the second bank for each vehicle that they have chosen. They will then determine which one gives them the best value and which bank they would like to go with to purchase a car. And then students are going to look at those three vehicles and choose just one of them. After they choose one, they are going to fill out a car loan application. For the application, students are going to determine their monthly payments. After they determine the monthly payments, they will sign and date it. The teacher is the bank manager and she will, he or she will sign it and then date it and they will also put if it's approved or denied. You will approve it if the monthly payments is correct. If it's incorrect, then you will deny it and the student will have to fix their work. After the student has been approved for their loan, then the student is going to determine how much they need to pay the car dealership for the vehicle. So they will have the car price, taxes, there's a registration fee, and then they'll determine the total amount. They will fill out the check, and then they will go back to the uh, car dealership, which will be the teacher, and they will fill out the used car contract. And after filling this out, they will sign it, and then the teacher will be the car dealership manager, and she or he uh, will sign that as well. And that's pretty much it. It gives students a really good idea of what it's like to go and purchase a car. And uh, most students think that they're only purchasing the only paying for the purchase price, but it's always an eye opener that there's more included. So students are going to have to pay more than what the purchase price says. If you like this activity, um, you will find a link down below and you can also let me know if you have any questions, www.mathindemand.com. Thank you. Bye.